Hello, Lola's. So I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, Little Miss Lizzy Pooh into a sleeper. And I'm gonna see if she can fit this. This is Burt Bees. It says three to six months. It'll look on the, rather on the small side, but oh, it looks like it might work for her. But at the same time, I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, wait, 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 wait. Make sure that you are subscribed before you start listening. Make sure that that bell is clicked. Yep, right down there below by the description bar. And make sure, make sure that your ears are open and your mind is clear and you're open to a discussion. So anyways, um, what I was about to say is I wanted to talk about a lot of people have asked me about doing layaway. Also, I want to talk about my experiences with layaway and customs. Um, I know it's a hot topic right now about customs, but layaway, I think, also is a discussion that needs to be had. Um, so I don't, the reason I don't do layaway when I'm selling a doll, mostly because I don't have like dolls just, you know, steady going. Usually when I'm selling, I'm selling for a purpose or I need the money or, you know, I just want the transaction done and over with. I don't want it to linger on. And I, you know, layaways can linger on. Even if you start a layaway out and say, oh, you know, I'm going to give you, you know, three months. I'll do a three month layaway. The person will enter that layaway. And then sometime they'll be like, oh, I need another month. I need another two months. And you know, that three month layaway can turn into a six month layaway and so on and so forth. Now that is not always the case. I'm just saying that is the worst case scenario. Or they get three months into the layaway and decide, oh, I see another baby that I like somewhere else. I've decided that I don't want this baby after all. And then they come up with an excuse. You know, my cat, you know, broke his hip. I can't do it. Can I get a refund and all that stuff. Um, so I don't particularly care for layaway. Me, on the other hand, doing layaway, I usually want instant gratification. When I pay, I want my baby. When I see a baby that I like, I usually pretty much want it right then. So I don't, that's one of the reasons I don't do layaway. And it's one of also the reasons why I don't do customs. Now, mix them two together and you definitely, to me, in my opinion, building a recipe for disaster. Why do I say that? Okay, let's, let's run through a scenario. All right. Twice this has happened to me. Um, I did a layaway before. And I, well, I was scheduled to do a layaway and I asked for six months and the artist said, sure. But yet I paid the doll off in two weeks. Now I was the second person to, I think I was number two to pay. No, I was number three to pay my, my baby off. Um, Oh, I, let's say number three to order the baby. But there were two people ahead of me. Now, I was used to with the reborns. Um, with the dog, oh, that was fast. With the reborns, usually most artists, they don't start your doll until you make your last final payment, right? Well, this particular artist was doing it as ordered. And I didn't know that. And I had rushed to pay mine off. And they were working on the two ahead of me, which um, was not, had not even paid theirs off. So I ended up waiting um, about nine to 10 months for my baby, although it was paid off in two weeks. And the other people, babies were done before my baby. 
and they didn't even pay theirs off until like way months later and how I know is because those individuals end up telling me this you know situation and and so on and so forth it got a little bit more complicated but I'm not going to get into that but for the purpose of the story now I felt like I was sitting waiting for someone that hadn't paid their baby off my baby was paid off why my baby should have been working I was like irritated anyway so that's one reason why I don't do layaway that happened to me another time where um the artist finished was working on another baby that that the mommy had not even paid them at all just had sent them the kit and that baby got done and was and the mommy still hadn't paid and I was still waiting and I ended up being waiting like seven months or so with a baby that was paid in full from the start so it was just crazy so then also the other thing that has happened to me before in layaway and like I said I'm only out of the hundreds of dolls that I've done and I'm not just throwing hundreds out there because I've literally bought over a hundred and something dolls um different price range so I'm not bragging there some was fairly cheap but the other time I did a layaway the um the artist explained to me that you know they don't start until you, you finish your last payment which was okay um I had um like a six month layaway so I've you know I tried to do it that way and I paid a little bit here because I had a lot of other things going on so I paid the layaway you know when I you know casually but as the months went on through the layaway process I found something else that you know I very much liked more so or a different kit that I liked but of course the artist was like you can't change it you know we've already started I've already ordered the kit etc etc so it's like okay fine so I'm still making the payments or whatever it felt like forever because when I made the final payment I still ended up having to wait for another like three to four months because then I had to be in line of rotation of the other people that paid off their layaway so layaway for me and then as a custom now if it's a buy it now now let's say if that baby was already made and I was doing a layaway well once my layaway was done guess what that baby would have been coming straight home to me and I would have been okay I would have been you know it would have been it wouldn't have seemed so long and six months would have been six months not ten months so I don't like layaway on either side I don't like it as a seller I don't like it as a buyer I don't like it on a train I don't like it on a plane Sam I am I do not like green layaways at all <laughs> anyway customs oh my gosh I already told you guys how I feel about customs I love having my input oh girl what yes I love being able to say give me this and give me that but what I don't like is the weight part the weight part gets me in a frenzy like literally my mom my mom this is no lie this I promise you on everything my mom literally said would you please stop she don't know what they're called she don't know the term she said would you please stop having those artists make you babies that you have to wait for I said why I mean what I got to do with you you know cuz I'm smart mouth and she goes because every time you're waiting on a baby because you'll say I'm waiting on a baby I noticed that you have more headaches you you're you're not feeling well you, you your anxiety ramp up because she was like you're you're a nosy person and she's like you you can't stand waiting for anything you're impatient you want everything right then and there and that just don't work for you can't you just buy them and just have them come home why don't you save your money and then just pay for them and I was like mom but sometimes I miss out on good babies if I don't just go ahead and snatch them up and then make payments in pieces she was like uh uh the custom thing ain't for you and I and I really listen to my mom a lot of times because you know mom knows best in most cases you know and I was like you know what I do get uh 
headaches and stuff when I'm waiting on the baby because I really literally get sick because I the anxiety of the wait just drives me insane so I don't do customs it's it's a serious thing with me I'm very strong on that subject um also something else that I want to talk about um that I've been noticing um that is nothing new in the doll world is that people like to boost your head up people like to put out things that they don't tell the whole story and people will make your scenario sound so horrible right they will make their situation sound so horrible and what it is is called joy stillers because if you let's say if you're in a wait and i know there's a lot of mommies out here waiting for babies if you're in a wait what do you think is the best possible scenario for you to have that friend on your side that's trying to make you feel better you know trying to make the time go by a little bit smoother for you or the friend that's always in your ear saying girl i couldn't do it girl why won't you just blah 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 girl and you're just so torn and back and forth whereas if you were just passing the time trying to have some type of fun and peace with everything you would be better off you'd have a little bit of relaxation versus that person that's in your ear that's saying this and that what happens is they put so much negative uh vibes and energy into you and you suck all of that in by the time you get your baby there's no